Hey everyone, uh, thanks for stopping back in. Wanted to share with you uh, a new knife that I've I've had on order for quite a long time now. Um, it is made by Brown Knives, Craig Brown. Um, here's his information. So Brown Knives on Instagram. Um, I don't know if he's taking any more orders on this parabolic model, but he has some cool stuff coming up, so let's take a look at it. This is a this is number thirty one of uh, his parabolic models. It's a full custom build. The cool thing is, um, this is his first knife model, at least that he's made, thirty uh, first knife that he has made. But his first model was an integral build. Uh, my buddy Epic Snuggle Bunny has the uh, I believe the first knife he ever made. Um, go check out his channel. He he's done some videos on his as well. His has uh, titanium uh, frame and copper inserts. I don't know the blade steel uh, on his knife, uh, but on my build I went for a carbon fiber integral build. This is uh, AJ Composites carbon fiber, and then an all damasteel insert and blade build. <coughs> Excuse me. Another great thing, it comes with an awesome, uh, uh, awesome little carrying case. So that's a nice little touch. A lot of knife makers don't don't include something special like that. So custom fit, custom built for for his knives. Uh, this is a ladder Damascus by Damasteel. Uh, one request I had was that the inserts and blade all be cut out um, as you see it right here so that the pattern would translate across all um, all the inserts in the blade and he did a fantastic job um, the uh, it's a stainless steel lock bar so you're not gonna get any lock stick the action is um, just awesome I love this knife uh, my biggest concern with the carbon fiber handle was the uh, the weight balance but as you can see it's pretty much right there on that finger choil great little knife um... what else the ergonomics are awesome he's had quite a few little revisions over over the course of him making of uh, these parabolic models slight changes um, I know my buddies epic snuggle bunnies has some uh, jimping here on the flipper tab and the uh, jimping here is a little more aggressive other than that nothing too major I opted out of the uh, thumb slot here thumb hole it just seemed like it would have been too much on the knife I actually consulted with my buddy on that one as well I wasn't sure which route to go so kinda of glad I, I I talked to him we both decided that it might have been a little bit too much going on with with that finger hole so I really like how this turned out uh, the only one of the main reasons this took so long is I knew that Craig was gonna get uh, a VF2 which is a um, pretty high quality milling machine um, I actually run one at my work so I know that it was a good machine so I asked him to wait until he had that set up to build this knife because I know it can hold a little bit tighter tolerance maybe give a little bit better finishes as well so he did that so I waited about four four to five months longer than I was supposed to because I opted out to uh, or opted in to wait for the new machine to be set up and running but dead centered actions awesome on the titanium builds the uh, sound of the action really resonates I actually kinda like it the carbon fiber seems to deaden that out but still an amazing knife anyway just a quick little overview go follow Craig on Instagram again here is 
his info. So Brown Knives on Instagram or brownknives.com, you can go check him out there. Uh, he's got a pretty cool model coming out. I think his pre-orders are going to start in September. It is mid-August right now, 2017. So in the next month, he should be having some pre-orders for the next model. But, if you guys are interested, here's the quality of work he's doing. And I can only expect that he'll get better. He's an aerospace engineer, so he's pretty particular about things, which I like. So, pretty, pretty impressive for... For his first knife to go for a full integral build and I couldn't be happier with the uh, the carbon fiber the weights just right so thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video